In this video, we're going to study the word problem involving Venn diagram. In a junior high school, 200 students were randomly selected. 140 like tea, 120 like coffee, and 80 like both tea and coffee. How many students liked only tea? How many students liked only coffee? How many students liked neither tea nor coffee? Okay, so let us solve this problem by illustrating or visualizing first with the use of a Venn diagram. Now in our Venn diagram, the rectangle represents the universal set. And since in the problem there are only two sets under consideration, we have the set of students who like tea and the set of students who like coffee. So we have here two overlapping circles. The first circle is the set of students who like tea and the second circle is the set of students who like coffee. And in the Venn diagram, since there are two set under consideration, there are four regions, S sub 1, S sub 2, S sub 3, and S sub 4. Now, S sub 1 is just the same with the operation P minus C, right? S sub 2 is the intersection of set T and set C. So here at the middle, T intersection C. And S sub 3 is the operation C minus T. And S sub 4 is the operation, the complement of the union of set T and set C. Okay, so next, we determine the given so that we could already start populating our Venn diagram. So given, what are the given in the problem? Cardinality of the universal set is given, it is 200, right? The cardinality of, we let T be the set of students who like T, so the cardinality of set T is equal to 140 because there are 140 students who like T. Then we have the cardinality of the set of students who like coffee, set C, the cardinality of set C is 120. And we have here the keyword, uh, both tea and coffee. So 80 like both tea and coffee. So the meaning of both, the word both and and means intersection. So therefore, the cardinality of T intersection C is given and it is 80. Okay, then let's go to what is asked in the problem. How many students liked only tea? So what region in the Venn diagram is being asked in the problem? Only T. So we have observed that this region here is refers to T only as sub 1. So this is the uh, first question. This, is, this region is being asked. Cardinality of S sub 1 being asked in the first question in the problem. Second question, how many students like only coffee? So this is region S sub 3. How many students like neither tea nor coffee? So we have here the keyword neither. Neither nor okay so neither nor means not okay so set of students who don't like tea and coffee but they are part of the survey they, they are they are part of the 200 students the universal set here so s sub 4 okay so okay so let's proceed now okay now, observe that the cardinality of the intersection of set, C, uh, set T and set C is given. It is 80 or the, this region here, S sub 2. So, it's given 80. <coughs> now, the, the problem here is we are going to find the cardinality of S sub 1, S sub 3, and S sub 4 by, by solving or by making equations and solving for the equation so that we could arrive at where we could so that we could compute this s sub 1 s sub 3 and s sub 4 okay so first let's compute for the cardinality of s sub 1 and of s sub 1 so let's make our equation now so what will be our equation to compute for the cardinality of s sub 1 now s sub 1 belongs to set t and we know that, that the union of S sub 1 and S sub 2 is set T. So meaning the cardinality of S sub 1 
plus the cardinality of S sub 2 is equal to the cardinality of set T. So therefore, to compute for the cardinality of S sub 1, we simply okay, subtract. So cardinality of set T, we subtract the cardinality of S sub 2 from the cardinality of set T. So or N of T minus N of S sub 2. So we have what is our what is the given for the cardinality of set T? So we have 140 minus minus cardinality of S sub 2 is 80. And what is 140 minus 80? Okay, it is equal to 60. Right? So therefore we have computed already S sub 1, which is this is 60. Then we check. Uh, what is 60 plus 80? 60 plus 80 is equal to 140. So we get the cardinality of set T. Next, let's compute for the cardinality of S sub 3. So let's have now our equation. So what is our equation? So we know that S sub 3 is a region of set C and the union of S sub 2 and S sub 3 is equal to set C, right? And uh, so that the cardinality of S sub 2 plus the cardinality of S sub 3 is equal to the cardinality of set C. So to compute, therefore, for the cardinality of uh, S sub 3, so we have the cardinality of set C minus the cardinality of S sub 2, right? Okay, so what is the cardinality of set C? It's given 120 minus the cardinality of S sub 2 is 80. Okay, so what is 120 minus 80? So, 120 minus 80, so 0, 40. So, the answer is 40, right? Okay, so this is 40, therefore, cardinality of S sub 3 is 40. So, let's check. What is 80 plus 40? It is equal to 120, which is the cardinality of set C. So, there is only one cardinality left we have here cardinality of s sub 4 let's make an equation and solve for the cardinality of s sub 4 so what will be our equation okay so <clears throat> take note or observe that s sub 4 is part of the universal set and if we add the cardinality of s sub 1 cardinality of s sub 2 cardinality of s sub 3 and the cardinality of s sub 4 we can get the cardinality of the universal set which is 200 so therefore to compute for the cardinality of s sub 4 so we have here the equation the cardinality of the universal set minus the cardinality of okay the cardinality of the sum of the three regions s sub 1 plus s sub 2 plus s sub 3 okay so let's Make more space here. So S sub 4, therefore, is equal to what is the cardinality of the universal set? It is equal to 200, right? Minus, uh, we need to add the cardinality of the three sets here, uh, three subsets here, S sub 1, S sub 2, and S sub 3. We have 60 plus 80 plus 40. So let's add first. 60 plus 80 plus 40 and after that we subtract it from 200 so 60 plus 80 plus 40 0 this is uh, 12 plus 6 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 6 it's 18 so 180 so 200 minus 180 is equal to 20 okay so therefore, cardinality of S sub 4 is equal to 20. Okay. So after this, since we are already done populating all the regions in our Venn diagram, we can now answer, we can now give the answer to the questions in the problem or the answers to the problem. But uh, let me erase first so that we could have more space. Okay, this one.
Okay, so what is the answer in the first question? How many students liked only T? So, this is the region for S sub, S sub 1. 60. So, the answer in number 1 is, uh, in letter A is 60. What about letter B? How many students liked only coffee? So, this is the region S sub 3. So, the answer is 40. And what about letter C? How many students like neither tea nor coffee? So, this is the region for S sub 4. So, the answer is 20. Okay, and that's it.